Hello Libra and welcome to Blunt Sagittaro. My name is Robin and today Libra we're going to do a you versus them reading. So we're going to do you and a person on your minds. We're going to find out what's going on with them, how they're feeling, what their intentions are. Find the same thing about you and then we'll get the mutual energy. Um, you're over here. This will be the mutual energy. They're over here. I'll get the cards out but we'll start with you to make sure um, it's how you feel and that way you know if it's your reading before you waste too much time over here. If it's not you know, you can leave. <laughs> and if it is, you'll stick around. So let's talk. Let's get into this Libra. For them, we, we have the Devil in Reverse. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords. Ooh la la. That's the, how they're feeling about you. Let's talk about their actions and intentions in the near future. We have the Ace of Cups in Reverse. We have the Six of Cups. Or sorry, the Six of Wands. <laughs> Not the Six of Cups. And the last card here for the person, on, the Empress. Oh, they gave us a couple here. Okay, so the Empress with the Four of Pentacles and on the bottom of the deck, the Magician. So they're trying to manifest some communication or they want to communicate to you. Um, yeah, this person's got something to say. They want to talk to you. Let's find out how you're doing before we get into their stuff. Talk to us about Libra. How's Libra feeling about the person on their mind? How are they feeling right now? We have the Five of Cups in reverse. Whoa, that card went all the way over there. It's the High Priestess. Whoa, I got cards flying everywhere. Hold on, Libra. I'll get the High Priestess in a moment. She can show her beautiful face. So we have the Five of Cups, the High Priestess, Six of Wands in reverse. Notice it's upright over there. Five of Swords in reverse, the Eight of Cups, and the Two of Wands in reverse. On the bottom of the deck for you, ooh, we have the Lovers. Interesting. All right. So let's get the mutual energy. Uh oh, there's a cat outside or something. My dog's freaking out. I don't know if you can hear that, but I apologize if you can. She gets pretty angry. And the cats just sit there and tease her. <laughs> it's really not that much fun for me. Um, your overall energy is honeymoon. So enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay. Let's get into how you feel. So the Five of Cups in reverse with the High Priestess and the Six of Wands. You miss this person, Libra. Um, they're on your mind. You're clearly thinking about them. There's some negative energy and, and memories, but you're putting them behind you. Your intuition's actually telling you not to give this attention. You're trying to not give this person your attention. You're trying, yeah. You're trying, um, there's the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Swords in reverse. So you're literally trying not to talk to this person, trying not to think about this person. You're trying to cut this person out of your mind. That's what your intuition is guiding you to do. Um, but if you're watching this, it's, <laughs> I'm not sure how good it's working for you, Libra. Um, in the near future, <laughs> sorry, do you want to say anything else about that for Libra in the present? Because this person you consider a soulmate. There's a five of pentacles in reverse. You don't want to be left out. Um, you don't want to feel left out anymore. You don't want to feel alone anymore. You want to, yeah. See, your intuition's telling you to pull away from this person, but you want to move forward with this person. So I feel like your heart and your mind are not in the same spot. What's under the lovers? Oh, Ace of Wands. And that's because you have a lot of passion for this person, a lot of lust, and there's a sun in reverse. So things aren't uh, peachy keen with this person at this moment, Libra, but you do consider this to be a soul connection. You really like care about this person. You want to move forward, but your intuition is guiding you in a different direction. And you're not, um, like I said, your heart and your minds are in different spots. So in the near future, as far as your intent and your actions are the Five of Swords in reverse, the Eight of Cups, and the two of wands in reverse. So what do you want to say about this for Libra? Talk to us. Clarify that five of swords in reverse. So we have queen of cups in reverse. The ten of wands and the eight of swords. You um, are really trying to put this behind you in the near future. You're trying to release this. But you really can't stop thinking about this. It's like you want... It's like, I feel like you're struggling with yourself. There's like a huge burden within yourself. Because like I said, your heart and your mind aren't in the same spot here, Libra. You're frustrated. You're trying to remove this baggage. You're trying to remove this person, but you can't. But you're trying. You're trying really hard to walk away. Um, but you can't. Two of Wands in reverse. What do you want to say about the Two of Wands in reverse? You're, tr you're making the choice not to nurture this. So, but I don't know what happened. So the Queen of Wands in reverse. We got the star. We got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. We got the Ten of Cups. We got the Wheel of Fortune. We got the Four of Wands. It's like you're making the choice. Um, 
not to nurture this, but you want to. I, I, I don't know how else to say that. You know that this person can be happy with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you feel like this person's not going to change. They're not going to give you what you want. Um, they are not, they're not, but it's what you want. You want a happy family with this person. So it's like, yeah, they could be the, they could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, definitely could be a Capricorn. It could be an air sign as well. But so in the f near future, I don't see you doing anything. I see you with a tug of war with, with your heart and your mind here. Um, Libra trying to figure out what you want. Um, you make the choice that you don't want this, but you can't actually move past it because you want this. So it's like a, you're really frustrated with yourself. I feel like at the moment I have like, it's really fucking irritated, irritated kind of feeling. Um, what else do you want to say to Libra about their feelings and their intent? There's the Empress. Oh, and the hype and the justice. Damn. What the, what the hell? And the four of swords. Oh, and then, oh, and the page of swords. Oh, and the page of swords. Um, Libra, just know a few things here. Number one, you're the empress, okay? You're coming up as the empress. So um, you have a right to walk around like your shit don't stink. You have a right to behave in such a manner <laughs> because you are the empress. So you're the type of person that makes things happen in your life. Um, and maybe that's why you're really frustrated right now. I do feel as though um, there are people, there's a message here that the cards wanted you to know that there are people gossiping about this, talking about this, um, spreading rumors about this, but they're going to get what they deserve. So the cards are telling you not to do anything about that. So I don't know what this little side thing is, but um, just know that you are the empress here um, and you can pretty much get whatever you want whenever you want it. Um, you have all the skills and all the abilities to do that. And just know that there's a little somebody, um, yeah, just ignore them. That's really what the message there is. I don't know why that came through or what they wanted to do, but, but there was a little message for you, Libra, so we'll leave it there. Let's talk about your, your um, the person on your mind. What's under the magician? The page of cups in reverse, yeah. So the devil in reverse, talk to us. Uh, what does this mean? Clarify the devil in reverse. For the person on Libra's mind, how are they feeling about them? The emperor in reverse is clarifying the devil in reverse. Ooh, your partner or this person, I don't know why I keep calling it a partner. Emperor in reverse, two of wands, the Hierophant and the page of pentacles. This person is, um, they're fucking pissed. They can't release you. They want to be in a committed relationship. They want to offer you everything. They're watching you. They're looking at you. Like they literally want to offer you everything, but they can't because you're not accepting their offer. <laughs> They would like to move forward. They're being very, very strategic here. They cannot release you. They're trying to release you. And if they're a Capricorn, they're definitely um, emotional and caught up right now. What is this Seven of Swords? What would you like to say about this? They want, yeah. They're, so right now, your partner is upset without you, this person. Um, they want to move forward to Smoothie Waters. This is a Six of Swords. They want to to move forward with you. Um, they're, they're having a hard time without you here. They're very emotional. They love you. The King, of, the King of Cups with the Seven of Swords. They're being very strategic here. They're planning. We saw the Two of Wands. They're trying to come up with a way to um, communicate to you or talk to you or get you to open up to them or want to open up to them. So they want to talk. That's how your person's feeling. They got something to say and they want to say it. So in the near future, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse for their intentions. The Oh, fuck, I didn't even notice that. Notice how you had the Empress over here and the Empress over here. That's right, because you are the empress, and you're the empress to this person as well. I didn't even catch that. Well, these guys, these guys got to come out. There's the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Three of Cups. Star in the Hangman. They really want you to change your perspective. They're really, um, <laughs> really distraught without you, Libra. I don't mean to laugh, and if you're the cross watcher, I apologize. I'll show you more respect. Um, they're, they're, they're missing you. They are, you are what they want. They know that now. If they did not know that before, if they were not giving it all to you, oh, they've had a change of heart here, Libra. They, um... It's like you don't know what you got till it's gone kind of vibe. Maybe they didn't appreciate you as much as they should have because you recognize the connection. But they're ready to come in here and give you their attention to have this new beginning. They cannot let go of this idea, this notion. They're coming here to give you all the attention that you fucking deserve. If they didn't give it to you before, they better come in with fucking showering you with shit. I don't know. I'm seeing like little rose petals everywhere, you know, fucking bouquets of roses. I can't remember that movie, but the sky, two pentacles. They better do a better job balancing different aspects of your life and including you. It's just that simple. The Ace of Pentacles, because if they don't, you ain't taking shit. You're ready to walk away. You're literally ready to walk away. But like I said, you're 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 still holding on to a notion that they'll come back. Um, 
but your intuition is telling you not to. So they plan on coming back. They're coming back to talk to you. Um, let's see what they're going to say. What are they going to say to Libra? What do they want to say? This came out really quick. Wheel of Fortune, Dead, <laughs> Three of Swords. Well, it's pretty fucking obvious. They want to change <laughs> in this relationship. They don't want to hurt anymore. They don't want to be without you anymore. They don't want to be alone anymore. They want this with you. They're ready to change. If they needed to change something, this is all about transformation. They're ready to change for you here, Libra. They're ready to put in the effort. They're ready to, to, to do what needs to be done to rectify this, to resurrect the situation with you. They want this. They want this bad, actually. I can feel it. Um, let's see how you feel. How does Libra feel about that? There's the Empress again. <laughs> how you feel? You're still on the fence. There's the Eight of Cups. You're confused. What's their... Um, the Nine of Swords and the Page of Cups. See, you're so, oh, uh, your heart and your mind are on different levels. Shit, that's so frustrating because you, 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 you're not sure if you should walk away, if you should invest. You're stressed. You're, you want to give them your heart, but your mind's like, no, don't give them the heart. They haven't changed. So you're really struggling here. Let's get some Oracle cards here, Libra. Um, and we will then get the potential outcome. Um, this is saying enjoy each other's company. So there's a message from the romance oracles to entertain the conversation and just enjoy this person's company again and see if maybe spending some time with this person will help to re rectify the lack of your heart and your head being in totally different spots right now. Um, so what does Libra have to surrender to? Talk to us. What do they need to surrender to when it comes to this person, this situation? Because they're manifesting you. They want a new start with you. You feel this connection. Well, look at all these messages. All right, hold on. So, surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job or your health or your relationship or you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. And surrender worry. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. So there's definitely a couple of messages here to have trust in like the divine, right? And the, the ebbs and the flows, let them guide you. I feel like with your mind and your heart being in different places, your intuition's not fully, you don't know what, you don't know what to listen to. <laughs> you really don't. That's what I'm feeling. Success. So these are the lessons that you're meant to learn right now through this experience. So I know that there is no greater goal than to love relationships i'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good and if they don't serve your higher good you kick them the fuck out of your life you don't keep them around okay so what's the energy oracle message here for libra what do you want to say what will help them what will benefit them along their journey called life in the situation what advice do you want to say what would help libra up here please financial constraints card number 13 in reverse all right let's get your message when one comes out of the deck messages in the book libra that's what i believe to be true always have always will let's get your message this card reverse portends an increase in money about to come your way the previous constrictions have broken open there's a great flow of money and other things as more funds come in you'll find that you have freedom to take more risks and spend without the previous extreme precautions the river of abundance is starting to flow your way but don't be too cavalier always bring your consciousness to this and every aspect of your life so that's fucking great news if you're having <laughs> um, issues in that sense and things are looking up for you. We do see the Empress. The Empress is all about abundant new beginnings, right? So let's find out. Um, I'm going to use this deck. Let's get your potential outcome here, Libra. I say potential because there's always free will. And I say outcome, meaning where are things between you and this person in one month from now? How are you guys doing? Nine of coins. That is the card of wish fulfillment. All right, talk to us. How's Libra doing with this person? Where are they? How's it going? Are they together are they fighting someone else in the picture what's going on between libra and this person whoa whoa in a month from now all right so we have the wheel of fortune we have the knight of pentacles we have the ten of wands in reverse we have the world in reverse we have the ten of pentacles in reverse we have the four of wands in reverse we have the three of swords in reverse and the queen of wands in reverse holy fuck all right let's talk about what the hell's happening here we're going to break this down. We're going to talk about what's anchoring in the middle. So we have the Ten of Wands, we have the World in Reverse, and we have the Ten of Pentacles in Reverse. So there's a lot of unfinished business, um, a lot of 
talking, a lot of discussion, a lot of barriers and burdens to drop between you and this person. There's definitely, um, you're trying to drop it. I'll say that. There's definitely unfinished business. You guys are trying to work through this, but there is drama. There is some conflict here. Whatever this conflict is, um, you're trying to work through it because we have here the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Pentacles. So you're getting through it. It's going slow. It's not going fast. But the thing about the Knight is you're working on it. You're paying attention to the details. You're trying to solve this conflict. You're trying to get through this. Um, and you're doing it with grace. You're doing it with respect. And the Wheel of Fortune means you're going to be successful in doing it, right? But there is a little bit disharmony. But the beautiful thing about this Queen of Swords is we saw this thing about self-limiting beliefs over here. So this Queen of Swords means that Potentially in the past, you might have done things that were not in your favor. Maybe you did things for people where it didn't benefit you. You did things you really didn't want to do, but you hurt yourself with the actions that you were taking. It's like a self-sabotage card, but it's upside down. So although things are a little in disharmony with this person at this moment, you're standing up for yourself. You're taking care of business. Any decisions that you're making, any negotiations, any contracts, whatever this conflict is that you guys are working through, there's the death. You're trying. You're, you're trying to work through this. You really are. I can see a lot of effort here coming from both sides. Um, so I feel like you do get your heart and your mind on the right page and you do decide to work through it with this person and you guys are trying here, Libra. And I feel like you're trying to put yourself first and set proper boundaries, proper expectations and be clear and concise with how you do it. But there is a little drama as you're going through this conversation and this conflict with them. Um, so let's just see if the cards have any other advice for you before we close the reading out get your yes or no question. Um, so the person on your minds, there's still conflict, but they come forward and you do try to work things out. Um, and there's the high priestess again. So I feel like you really are in trusting your intuition to guide you, right? Especially if your heart and your mind are in different areas. All you got is your intuition, right? What other messages do you have for Libra? Do you want to say anything else about this to help them through these negotiations and this conflict? <laughs> oh, the six of swords. Get excited. I got goosebumps. What came up with the six of swords? Before I get too giddy. <laughs> the page of pentacles and the seven of cups in reverse. You, you know what you want. See the beautiful thing. That's why I got excited. So the six of swords for me is a spiritual test card, but it means you passed your test, Libra. So whatever you're supposed to learn in the past, whatever that lesson was, you've learned it. And you're now moving forward and you're offering things and you're moving forward with this person. You really are. You've made the choice to see through um, whatever it was that you weren't seeing before. <laughs> you tell me, but you've made the ch choice to see through it. You you've, you've see it now. There's no confusion. Oh, sorry, my dog just uh, hit that. There's no confusion anymore. You know exactly what you want. You know, you combined your heart and your body or your, what the fuck? Your mind and your shit, your mind and your heart. <laughs> and you're no longer confused. You want this new beginning with this person. You want to move forward and you have learned your motherfucking lesson, Libra. That's beautiful. That means you can move forward. If this came out upside down, it means you're stuck, but you're not stuck. So the drama is worth it. You got to get through those conflicts. You got to negotiate better and you become a better couple and better versions of yourself together, right? Um, so Libra, that's what I have for you. I truly hope you enjoy your reading. You like my style. If you do, don't hesitate to hit the like button, subscribe and comment. That helps other people see the reading as well. Helps the grand channel to grow. Let's get your yes or no question. We'll close this out. Yes or no? What is the answer for Libra, please? Yes or no? And there you go, Libra. The answer to your question is yes. So thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of luck. Until next time.